Let's take a look at finding percentiles for the standard normal distribution using the standard normal table. This particular video uses the variant of the table that gives the area to the left. Another common type of table is a table that gives the area between 0 and the z value you look up. I won't be looking at that here. I do look at that one in another video. And we'll be looking at this type of table. And for this video, we are going to be finding a z value when given an area. When it's the other way around and we have a given z value and we want to find an area, I have a separate video for that one. Suppose z is a random variable with a standard normal distribution, and what is the value z0 such that the probability z is less than z0 is 0 0.6331? First, we draw our standard normal curve. Standard normal distribution is symmetric about zero, and it has an area under the entire curve of one. And we need to find the value z naught such that the area to the left is 0 0.6331. The probability that z is less than z naught is simply the area under the curve to the left of z naught, and we need that to be 0 0.6331. So let's see if we can find that. Here's our standard normal table, and it gives us the area to the left for the z value we look up, and we need that to be 0 0.6331. Now do not go running down here and say, oh, 0 0.6. This is a z value here, and we are given an area to the left, and we want to find a z value. Areas are given in the body of the table here, so we are trying to find this in the body of the table, and oh, here we go, 0 0.6331 corresponds to a z value of 0.34. And so we found our answer. This is 0.34, or in other words, the probability that your random variable z takes on a value less than 0 0.34 is 0 0.6331. What is the value z0 such that the probability z is greater than z0 is 0.9838? Well, let's draw that out again. Here we have 0 in the middle, and now the probability z is greater than z0 is 0.9838, which means the area to the right of z0, to the right of z0 is 0.9838, which means z0's got to be over here somewhere, such that the area to the right is 0.9838. Now I can't just go running off to the table and try and look that up because our table gives us areas to the left. But this is simple enough. We need to convert it to this area over here. And that area, since the area under the entire curve is 1, that area is 1 minus 0.9838. And that is 0 0.0162. So we can go to our table now and look up 0 0.0162. We need to look up in here the area. We're trying to find 0 0.0162. That's the area to the left of 0 0.0162. And here we go, 0 0.0162. That corresponds to a z value of minus 2.14. So the z value is minus 2.14. The z value of minus 2.14 gives an area to the left of 0 0.0162. So this is the value we need. And this is minus 2.14. Done and done. The probability that z is greater than minus 2.14 is that 0 0.9838. What is the value z0 such that the probability that z lies between minus z0 and z0 is 0.95? Well, let's draw a picture. Here's our standard normal curve. Here's 0 in the middle. And what we're asked to find is the value z0 such that the area between z0 and the corresponding negative z0 the area in between those two values is 0 0.95. Now we can't go running off to a table and look up 0.95 just yet. Our table gives us areas to the left, so we have to make our picture look like that. And what do we know though? We know that the area under the entire curve is 1. And so the area combined in this tail and this tail must be 1 minus 0.95 or 0.05. And it's evenly chopped up because this is the same magnitude between z and minus z0. So this area out here has to be 0 0.05 over 2, which is 0 0.025. And this area out here has to be 0 0.05 over 2, which is 0 0.025.
And since our table gives us the area to the left, it's pretty easy to find this minus Z0 value. I can look up this area, 0 0.0. Two, five. I can look that up. If I want to find this one, I can look that up as well, but I'd have to look up 0.975. This value has 0.975 to the left. This value has 0 0.025 to the left. So I can look up either one of those and find my Z0 value. And so if I were to look up 0.975 in the body of the table here in these areas, if I look around and, oh, here we go, 0.975, which corresponds to a Z value of 1.96. And we can go back. And the table has told us that this is 1.96. And this corresponding value over here must be minus 1.96, which we could have found by looking up 0 0.025 in the table as well. And what did we just figure out? We just figured out that the probability that Z lies between minus 1.96 and 1.96 is equal to 0 0.95. And this is actually going to be important for us later on in statistical inference. Here's another way of phrasing a similar type of question. What is the 60th percentile of the standard normal distribution? Let's draw our picture. Here's our standard normal curve. Here's zero. A percentile is the value of the variable that yields that percentage of the area to the left. So if the area out here is 0 0.60, we're saying that this is the 60th percentile. That's what we need to find. So that is the Z value that yields an area to the left of 0 0.60. And this looks exactly like our table looks, so we can just go straight to our table. So we're trying to find the area here in the body of the table that is as close as we can get to 0 0.60. And if we go up here, we've got these two. This one is a little bit closer. And for me, at least, I say picking the closest value in the table is fine. Some people have different ideas on that, but I'm okay with going with the closest value in the table. This corresponds to a Z value of 0.25. And so 0.25 is approximately our 60th percentile. And so the 60th percentile of the standard normal distribution is approximately 0 0.25. If we needed a little more precision than that, we could use statistical software to get a more precise answer.